to Night Cat. <gasps> Maybe a tale of adventure, read by our friend Matt. Hello there, I'm Matt and this is Meg and we are looking for the perfect spot to live. I want to be able to see for miles and have green, green grass all around with plenty of room to give Meg lots of exercise. And in tonight's bedtime story, Jed dreams of finding the perfect place to live. The story's called A New Home for a Pirate. Jed was a pirate, but he didn't enjoy it. It was a tight squeeze on the ship and it was always bobbing about. Every day, Jed was seasick. Every night, Jed dreamt of a house that stood still. One morning, Jed announced he was leaving. I want a house that stands still with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky. And when I found it, you can all come and stay. Splice the mean brace, exclaimed his mum and dad. They never had a landlubber in his family. But they could see he'd made up his mind and they liked the bit about visiting. They helped Jed pack his pirate paraphernalia in an old trunk. One long rope, one pirate hat, clean underpants, a great granddad's wooden leg, one parrot, stuffed, a cutlass, one spotted handkerchief, an eye patch, socks, pyjamas and a toothbrush. Cheerio ho, called Jed as he cycled away. He came to a forest. A bird was squawking. Please, can you help? My nest is a mess. Jed scratched his head. Well, Shiver me timbers, he exclaimed. I've got the very thing. He took out his pirate hat and the nest fitted perfectly. Oh, thank you, said Bird. You're very kind for a pirate. Well, I'm not a pirate anymore, explained Jed. I'm looking for a new home. I want a house that, that stands still with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky. Will that be a tree? asked Bird. Oh, of course, said Jed. Come with me and we'll look for a new home together. Well, they came to a field. A sheep was baaing loudly. Please, can you help? I'm tangled in brambles. Jed scratched his head. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, he exclaimed. I've got the very thing. He took out his cutlass and sliced the sheep free. Oh, thank you. She said, you're very kind for a pirate. Oh, I'm not a pirate anymore, explained Jed. I'm looking for a new home. I want a house that stands still with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky with a stretching high tree. Oh, will there be a, a grassy field? Asked Sheep. Oh, of course, said Jed. Come with us and we'll look for a new home together. They came to a high bank, an old dog lay whimpering. Oh, please, can you help? I've broken me leg. Jed scratched his head. Oh, shiver me timbers, he exclaimed. I've got the very thing. Jed took out his great granddad's wooden leg and he tied it on with the spotted handkerchief. Oh, thank you, said the old dog. Oh, you're very kind for a pirate. Oh, I'm not a pirate anymore, explained Jed. I'm looking for a new home. I want a house that stands still with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky, with a stretching high tree and a field bramble free. Oh, we will there be a doormat? asked the old dog. Well, of course, said Jed. Come with us and we'll look for a new home together. They came to an open gate. A red bull was tossing his horns. I want to chase you, he roared. Jed scratched his head. Ah, shiver me timbers, he exclaimed. Luckily, I've got the very thing. Jed took out the rope and hauled the bike into a tree. Farmer Ted came running. Shoo! Shoo! He shouted and chased the red bull back into the field. Oh, thank you, said Jed. Oh, you're very kind for a farmer. But Farmer Ted sighed. I'm not a, really a farmer anymore, but there's only Red Bull and me. I'd rather be a pirate. Yes, that's the life for me. On a rollick and rolling ship, on a rollick and rolling sea. Jed sighed. I'm not really a pirate anymore. My friends and I are looking for a new home too. 
We want a house that stands still, with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky. With a stretching high tree in a field, bramble free, and a doormat where old dog can lie. Ooh, come with me, said Farmer Ted. I think I've got the very thing. A house like mine, asked Ted. Perfect, replied Jed. A, a ship like mine, asked Jed. Wonderful, replied Ted. Let's swap, they said together. Jed introduced Ted to his family. Ted wants to be a pirate, he explained. Can you help? Whoar! Whoar! They all shouted. We'll show them we're the best pirate teachers in the world! Whoar! Ted passed all the pirate tests. The pirates were so impressed they invited him to join their mucky crew immediately. Ted liked his new house. Whoar! This is the life for me! On a rollick and rolling ship, on a rollick and rolling sea. Cheerio ho ho, me hearties! And Jed knew he would be a very wicked pirate indeed. Jed liked his new home too. Birds sang in the tree and sheep munched in the field. An old dog slept on the doormat. Have a house that stands still, with a view from a hill and a roof that's blue like the sky. A perfect home for a pirate. And that story was called A New Home for a Pirate. Hmm. And I tell you what, I think I've found the perfect spot to live. Look, beautiful views and plenty of room to exercise Meg. We'll see you soon for another story. Come on, Meg.